So welcome to Rainy Rams, or Rams as it's known in Champagne. This is the land of sparkling wine. We arrived here in this rather wet, windy weather um, only a few hours ago. But we're already getting to the swing of things. We had a bottle of Lemon Il Grand Cru, which is perfect. But what we wanted to do was do a really topical, fantastic, fun tasting because... What happens in the world of sparkling wine? Champagne is at the top, and everybody knows that champagne is fantastic and really good. But what about the others? Surely there are others out there that are as good, maybe even better. So what my sidekick, Mr. Matthew Wixty from the Wine Cellars has done for me, has kindly wrapped up three bottles of sparkling wine, and I don't know what these are. I have no idea. I've got one, two, and three, and I'm going to taste them. I'm going to have a go. I'm going to say, what are they? I'm going to give my assessment on the quality, but of course, uh, it's really about guessing what they are. Now, we've got three types of sparkles. We have a champagne, an English sparkling wine, because yes, it is exceptionally good. And thirdly, we've got a Californian sparkling wine as well. So let's go with the first one. I'll taste through it. Uh, this is the wine here. So I'm going to pour this into my glass, wrapped up wonderfully well here this maybe give myself a slightly hefty glass there and I'm gonna to have to finish it as well before I move on to the next one so what are we looking for in sparkling wines we're looking for a sort of clarity lightness versus depth that tells you if it's a young uh, sparkling wine against an older one it's a little bit of a dark camper van of the VW spectrum here with lots of orange around me so color is a little bit difficult let's get straight into the nose so Sticking our nose into this, there's a bit of freshness, a bit of a green character. Quite lively, quite light. An edge of brioche, so a little bit of development, but quite light. Smells like it might be from a slightly cooler climate. But hey, let's have a taste. There's something English about this, I think, in the glass. Light, floral, fragrant. Wonderfully refreshing though, great acidity. I won't give it away yet, I'm not too sure, because I haven't tried the other ones, but I might be thinking it's Grand Bertrand here, but let's have a taste. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go on to number two. Another hefty glass here, let's pour this one. Lovely. So the first one's lighter. Second, let me just let the carbon dioxide sort of settle down here. If I stick my nose into it here, it's going to make my eyes water. Uh, it's going down. It's going down. Colour, does it matter? Mm, orange. Tint of orange to it. Smelling it. Mm, something slightly richer. More creamy, more sort of biscuity brioche note. Quite a ripe sort of touch of peach there, as well as... Some sweeter apple. This smells like a slightly warmer climate. Let me have a taste. Mm. More complex, darker, slightly less acid. This is either an older style of champagne or warmer climate. Interesting. Nice though. Mm. The third and grand finale. Let's have a go at this one then. So, we've got uh, orange colour again. They're all orange. On the smell. Mmm, elegant. More richness, more character. Brioche, biscuit, bready, darker, fruitier. Depth, more sort of darker fruit here. Want to taste? Mm. Bit of acidity there as well. Okay, interesting. Well, I need to come to a decision. I have one, I have two, and I have three. I'm going to go for English Champagne California. Let's have a look. We've got these little things here. The first one is a Naya Timber Classic Cuvée 2005. So I've got that right. So that's the num wine number one. That's English. 
so far. Fresher, lighter character to it. So that's the English one. That's wine number one. I'm right, 100%. Yes. Wine number two. Uh, it was as close, this one. I've gone for champagne. Wine number two is Bollinger. Yes! It's champagne. It's a very deeper, concentrated champagne. So Bollinger, special cuvee. And then we're going for, yes, wine number three is a Domaine Carneros, La Rev from California. So, people say, I say, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> do you want to do an unwrapped scoop? Yes, let's have a look at the bottles. Uh, so, the first one is a Naya Timber here. 2005 vintage classic cuvee from Sussex, a classic, fantastic producer, um, really wonderful stuff. Wine number two we said was the Bollinger, uh, special cuvee, one of the greatest special cuvee champagnes you can get your hands on, and then non-vintage styles. And then finally, a 2004 Blanc de Blanc, so 100% Chardonnay, Domaine La Reve from Domaine Canaris. This is made by Tattinger but in California, in Los Caneros. So, wonderful stuff. Um, rather enjoyed that challenge, so that was rather good. <laughs> you do when you get them right. So, I'm going to have to love you and leave you because I'm going to get on with my colleague Matthew here and drinking these lovely sparkling wines. But for now, cheers! Cheers. <laughs>